This video accompanies Learning IoT with Python and Raspberry Pi. In this lesson, you will learn how to use set methods to compare two sets of data. The set class provides methods for performing the union of two sets, the intersection of two sets, the difference of two sets, and so on. These set methods perform the same kind of operations as their mathematical counterparts. In order to illustrate how some of these methods can be used, we'll implement them in a program that keeps track of fighters at a gym. Suppose you've been asked by a mixed martial arts trainer to write a program that helps them keep track of the fighters at the gym. Some fighters train in Muay Thai, some train in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and some train in both styles. He wants to save the list of fighters to a file, be able to add a fighter to the Muay Thai roster or to the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu roster, remove a fighter from the Muay Thai roster or the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu roster, display a list of all fighters, display a list of fighters who are training in both styles, display a list of fighters who train only in Muay Thai style, and display a list of fighters who train only in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu style. We'll add the names of the Muay Thai fighters to a set and the names of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters to a different set. We can then use six set methods to implement the specifications of this program. We'll use the add method to add the name of a fighter, the difference method to determine the names of the fighters that appear in only one set, the intersection method to determine the names of the fighters that appear in both sets, the remove method to remove the name of a fighter from a set, the union method to determine the names of all fighters without duplication, and the update method to update a set with the elements of another set. Let's break this program down into functions. A function that displays the options, a function for adding a fighter, a function for removing a fighter, a function that reads in the names of the fighters from a file if the file exists, and a function that writes the names of the fighters to a file upon exiting from the program. We'll name the main function main ring. The main ring function calls the function that reads in the names of the fighters from a file, calls the appropriate function or executes the appropriate lines of code, depending on the trainer's choice, and calls the function that writes the names of the fighters to a file. We'll begin by importing the dump function and the load function from the pickle module. The fighter menu contains print function calls that display the 11 menu options. This function has no parameters and it returns nothing meaningful. The first option is to add a Muay Thai fighter, and the second option is to add a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. The third option is to remove a Muay Thai fighter, and the fourth option is to remove a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. The fifth option is to display all fighters, the sixth option is to display all MMA fighters. The seventh option is to display those fighters who train only in the Muay Thai style. And the eighth option is to display those fighters who only train in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu style. The ninth option is for displaying the Muay Thai fighters. The ninth option is for displaying the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters. In order to exit from the loop, the trainer has to enter zero. We'll save this file as Lesson Sets. The Add Fighter function is defined to have two parameters, and it returns nothing meaningful. The first parameter represents a description of the kind of fighter to be added, a Muay Thai fighter or a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. The second parameter represents a set of fighters. The trainer is prompted to enter the name of the fighter. The add method is used to add the name of the fighter as long as the trainer does not simply press the enter key. This is why the if statement tests if new fighter 
equal to an empty string. If the trainer happens to enter the name of a fighter who is already on the roster, no exception will be raised and the roster will be unchanged. The remove fighter function is defined to have two parameters. The first parameter represents a description of the kind of fighter to be removed, and the second parameter represents a set of fighter. We'll write the remove fighter function to provide the trainer with more information. An if else statement is used to test if there are any elements in the set of fighters. If the set is empty, then the message variable is assigned a message that there are no such fighters. Otherwise, the input function is called. We choose a remove method to remove the name of the fighter. Because a key error will be raised if the name of the fighter is not in the set, we enclose a remove method call in a try accept statement. A string indicating whether the remove attempt was successful or not is assigned to the message variable, and message is returned by the remove fighter function. The read file function expects the file name to be passed as the argument and returns a two-item tuple composed of a set that contains the names of the Muay Thai fighters and a set that contains the names of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters. This function is composed of a try accept statement that handles the file not found error or the pickle error that might be raised. We'll use a single clause that handles a generic exception. A file not found error will be raised the first time this program is executed because the file that contains the names of the fighters will not yet exist. Since we wish for a set that contains the Muay Thai fighters and a set that contains the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters to be returned regardless of whether the file exists or not, we initially assign both variables Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu an empty set. A with statement is used to open the fighters file. The first time the load function is called, the return set is passed to the update method that belongs to Muay Thai. The second time the load function is called, the return set is passed to the update method that belongs to Jiu Jitsu. The write file takes as arguments the file name, a set that contains the names of the Muay Thai fighters, a set that contains the names of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters, and it returns a string which holds a message indicating whether or not the write to file was successful. This function is composed of a try accept statement that handles a pickle error or some other error that might arise. We'll use a with statement to open the file. If the file is successfully opened, then the return file object is assigned to fighter file. Then the dump function is called twice first to dump Mutai, and second to dump Jujitsu. If an exception arises, then a string indicating that the right to file failed is returned. Otherwise, a string indicating that the right to file was successful is returned. We'll define the main ring function to have a parameter that represents the name of the file to be opened. The read file function is passed the name of the file that contains the fighter names. It returns two sets, which are assigned to Mutai and Jiu Jitsu. The fighter menu is called to display a menu of options. Because we wish for the trainer to keep getting prompted for his choice, we'll use a sentinel controlled while loop. The sentinel value of choice is zero. The value assigned to choice only has to be different from zero in order for the while loop to begin, and this is why we initially assign choice none. An if elif statement is used to handle each of the 11 possible choices. If the trainer enters one, then the trainer wishes to add a mutai fighter. Hence, the string mutai and the mutai set are passed to the add fighter function. If the trainer enters two, then the trainer wishes to add a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. Hence, the string Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and the Jiu Jitsu set are passed to the add fighter function. If the trainer enters three, 
Then the trainer wishes to remove a Mutai fighter, hence the string Mutai and the Mutai set are passed to the remove fighter function. If the trainer enters four, then the trainer wishes to remove a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter, hence the string Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and the Jiu-Jitsu set are passed to the remove fighter function. If the trainer enters five, then the trainer wishes to view all of the fighters, calling the union method on the Mutai set with Jiu-Jitsu as the argument or on Jiu-Jitsu with Mutai as the argument will return a new set that contains the non-duplicated elements of both sets. If the trainer enters six, then the trainer wishes to view the MMA fighters, calling the intersection method either on the Mutai set with Jiu-Jitsu as the argument or on Jiu-Jitsu with Mutai as the argument will return a new set that contains the elements that appear in both sets. If the trainer enters seven, then the trainer wishes to view those fighters who train only in Mutai style. Hence, the difference method is called on Mutai with Jiu-Jitsu as the argument. If the enters eight, then the trainer wishes to view those fighters who train only in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu style. Hence, the difference method is called on Jiu-Jitsu with Mutai passed as the argument. If the trainer enters nine, then the trainer wants to view just the Mutai fighters. If the trainer enters 10, the trainer wants to view just the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters. If the trainer enters zero, then the trainer wishes to exit. Before exiting, the write file function is called with the file name in both Mutai and Jiu-Jitsu passed as arguments. This file returns nothing meaningful, and the main ring function is called. Now we'll run the main ring, and we'll test it by entering five Mutai fighters and five Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters. We'll enter the Mutai fighters first. We'll display the Mutai fighters, and then we'll add the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters. First display the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters, and then we'll display all fighters and then just the MMA fighters. We'll remove Mark as the Mutai fighter. However, Mark's name will still appear when we display all fighters because Mark is still in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu set. However, only Gabriella appears in the set of MMA fighters. Next, we display the fighters who train only in Mutai style and the fighters who train only in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu style. and then we exit. We'll run the lesson sets program again. The read file function is called. This time, however, a file not found error will not be raised because the file exists. When we select nine, the set of Mutai fighters is displayed. And when we select 10, the set of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters is displayed. Go to learningiot.net in order to find links to where you can buy Learning IoT with Python and Raspberry Pi.